Now she is going to start coloring. Notice, this is an ice tray. Now she is using it as palette. It has some advantage. You can see the small spaces all over. There you can put your colors. Since it's a small area, the colors don't dry fast. So it remain very wet for a long time. Now the brushes. There are a lot of brushes. She has to choose the brushes according to her need. The, since the object is small, the space is small, she has taken brush number four. And these are the colors. This is white, this is lemon yellow, this is vermilion, this is brown, this is green, this is ultramarine. Now, the ultramarine is the basic color of the flower verse. But since there is shadows and in the same time light, there are darkness in some part of the ultramarine and some part is lighter than the dark one. You can see dark in the lower part and in the middle part, as I have told you already, light is falling from the top. So it is little lighter. For the lighter part, she will add little white to give the brightness to the ultramarine color. When you are drawing a motif, you have to be very careful. It should not go beyond the limited area that you are supposed to color. So best thing will be you first make an outline of the motif all around and then fill it with the color itself. You see first the outline is done and then the empty areas of a particular is filled. It is a gradual process. You should not hurry on this act, action, you be very composed and give lot of concentration both into the movement of your fingers and the brush and build the whole structure gradually with color. The top part is now going to be finished. She is leaving the white areas which will be filled later with other colors. One thing more, when you are using tempera technique or opaque technique, always keep the color a little thick. Don't use much water, then you won't get the smoothness of the color. And when you are taking the brush out of the color, try to relieve excess color in the palette itself. If you do not do this, there is every chance to put a drop on the work itself, which will spoil it. In the beginning, you try to choose very simple and easy object with less a complicated thing. For example, now in the beginning when you are painting or you are just drawing a still life, you better use an object with flat color without any design. It will take less time and also less artistic skill for that. And gradually, when you are matured, you can handle the completed things more easily, start to choose more complicated objects. In object drawing, one thing is very important, the tactile quality of the object. It's a very important quality. Tactile quality is that you can feel the texture or the sensation of the object's surface with your eyes. For example, you have chosen a woolen garment 
and same time but by the side of this uh, there is a silken cloth so the surface of these two objects are very different and you can bring the tactile quality as if you are touching the wool and feeling the softness of the woolen object that you can feel with your eyes. In the same way, the shiny part of the silk also you can feel the touch of it with your eyes. This is called the tactile quality. So in object drawing, this is very important to capture that tactile quality in its work. You can notice the flowers is made of ceramic and ceramic has its own shininess which gives some kind of highlights on that. And when you put the highlight on that, it will give you the same tactile quality. On the contrary, the book is little drab and there is not much shine on that. So this contrast will be brought by the highlight in the next stage after completing the design on the flower verse itself. You look at her concentration. And this is very important part of an artist. In our Shilpa Shastra, like Vishnu Dharma Puran's Chitra Sutra, it is clearly mentioned that the work of painting is like dhyana or meditation. In those days, the art students were advised to sit with folded legs in Padmasana and put their drawing board in front of them and all the colors and brushes in their left sides. Then use the incense or agarbati like you when used for your puja your God. So like that, this is very important to create a spiritual atmosphere in, it, in your studio. This spiritual atmosphere gives you the sense of concentration as you do in, in your meditation or worshipping or praying to God. The same thing you'll be using when you are painting. Lack of all these things can spoil your work. Your focus will be shifted to somewhere else and you will miss few things when you are creating your art. No, don't forget it's creation. In our Veda, it is said that enjoying art or creating art is like Brahmananda Sahadaraha, means it is like getting the spiritual quality or the bliss to know Brahm. So in a work of art, you actually get same kind of bliss, same kind of happiness when you create something. And all this needs that type of meditation and concentration. Now look at the coloring. The lower part of the bulbous portion of the flower bus bit darker than the top part. So she will add little white with ultraberin to give the rotundity or volume of the object. Now gradually you can 
use the white mixing it before you are applying it or even after you applying a coat of uh, uh, ultramarine and use little white to make it lighter. The bottom part almost done with dark ultramarine. Now she will add little white for the top to give this volume. If you use one brush for painting, so always wash your brush before you put it in other color. Otherwise, the color in the bottle will be spoiled. Now, gradually, she is covering the lighter part very smoothly, leaving the white part and which will be later filled with green and brown. And also notice the movement of her finger holding the brush into 30, 30 or 40 degrees angle that helps to get the tip of the hair of the brush directly on the space. So uh, the blue part is done. When you are working with colors, in the beginning try to use only seven colors, white, black, chrome yellow, lemon yellow, crimson red, ultramarine blue and Prussian blue. In fact, you can prepare almost all kind of colors with these six and seven colors. Now, she has to use that particular green, which sometimes is not available in the market, ready-made. So it's better you prepare yourself that particular green. Here she has used mixing lemon yellow and ultramarine with little bit of white to this particular thing. And to make it little darker, she has used a bit of blue in it. And since the space is very small, she is now using number two brush instead of number four. The filling the space very carefully with absolute precision. The green will be lighter in the upper part of the bulbous form of the flower verse, but it will be darker in the two sides of the flower verse. Before you use the side, you add more green to make it darker. Now green is nicely placed on the verse. She is adding green to make it little darker for the bottom part. Never dilute water to make a color lighter. That could be done in the case of watercolor treatment. But when you are using tempera 
that 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 was the poster color to make it lighter you can use either white or lighter tone of the shade you can see the neck is also dark green now she is gradually coming down with the green the other areas of green the two sides are now filled with little darker color of green only few green areas are now left which will be filled right now now she is filling the last two areas of the green and after that she will move to the brown now all the green areas are covered only the brown is left so, now to the last leg of the treatment of the flower vase with the same number one brush she is covering the white area with brown color the same process she is using first outline of the diamond shape and then just filling it when you are doing the smallest area you always use very fine brush number 1 or 02 so learner one thing you make sure that to choose your light colors and always try to get the exact color that is in front of you remember the colors change with the light now when you are using normal bulb color change to little reddish then you use tl or tube light it will turn little bit of whitish and in these days when you are using a led or lcd bulb then again it will be little bluish though the same object in different situations will show different shades but it is always to be done indoor most of the object study and there are no other way by using the artificial light here you see it, the thing is complete uh, only the book part remains which has a flat color so she will is a thicker brush probably number 10 to fill the color of the cover of the book that is little pinkish and brownish of the upper part and grayish in the lower part now you will find some lettering on the uh, cover of the book for foreign artists it is not necessary to go by each letter or each word just you give an impression impression of the lettering of the top like the white lettering is there you just put few lines uh, vertical and horizontal lines to give an uh, a sense of the writing and in the lower part the writings are just black so just copy lines uh, that vertical lines can be given there so it is enough don't go for each word like a real letters that is printed on the face of the book you first put this color all over the cover then you add little dark color brown with it and put in top part Uh, again you give the outline and just lay a flat color on the surface you mix here little green 
to make it darker. Now she has used a little green to get a darker tone of the surface of the book and just to give an impression of that characteristics of the book. And after that, she will take care of the sides of the book. It's clearly one side a little darker than the other side. You just cover it with this color. and just leave it like that. Yes. Now you take white and blue again and put the color the one on one side of the book. You can add a little bit of black if you want, just one point. You take a thicker brush. Now add more white, you put the same color here also. Now you write white slant, huh. just an impression, don't go for each lettering. Now she is going to write the title of the book, but she is just giving the impression of the writing, not actually is perfect and you can take the black now. Now last thing she is going to do the top of the table on which they are standing the black color. So simply black you use here. The finishing part of the object drawing the tabletop. Again the same process you follow. You give outline very carefully because now you are handling black color. So it should not enter the painted part of the objects. And after drawing the outlines with black color, you can use a very thick brush to fill the whole black area. You notice how meticulously and with full concentration he, she is drawing the black line. Any mistake or any disturbance can spoil the work. Whenever you are working with colors, the work demands total attention. And any lack of this contestation can spoil the whole thing and especially when you are using black color. Now outline of the upper part is done. Now fill up the area with number 10 brush. Don't use much water in the color. Now the object drawing is complete.